Okay, here's my little video uh, about a couple of things. First, I want to talk about my how to make money in uh, the service industry. And I will send you a link to five videos and for $29.95, and I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, today we're looking at an old school uh, GE electric dryer. And uh, these were built pretty heavy duty. Uh, the motors were the main problems with them. Uh, they didn't other usually give any other problems other than that, except for when the lint uh, got plugged up inside or the vent got kink in the back. So the first thing I want to go over is uh, the lint. Uh, it's sort of like a lint screen right there on this older style one. And you just want to take your brush and, 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 and clean it out underneath there. Be careful uh, so that you don't uh, affect any of the padding on the or the insulation on the other side of this uh, panel, on the uh, attached to the outside of the panel. And so I want to check that. Oh, most dryers have these kind of things uh, where the lint could get plugged up in. And and sometimes back in here it'll, it'll build up uh, and so ideally you'd want to clean that out to run most efficiently uh, you'd have to take it apart of course and so yeah this one's uh, definitely old school heavy duty so you want to check your filter make sure your filters all cleaned out you can brush that out now there's some fine uh, built up on this uh, filter that we'd uh, like to uh, clean off. So you want to clean all the fine built up as much as you can off that. And of course down in here, and we're going to take this one apart, but uh, you can see that there's a lot of built up down in here. Sometimes you can take a coat hanger and go fishing and pull that out and get her going. And so uh, the next thing, and you want to make sure that your lint filter is going to seat properly. If it's not seating properly, you have it built up along the edge or around the, the rail that it slides into on some other models. Uh, the next thing you want to check is, of course, you want to uh, unplug your dryer or make sure that the power is off. You check, just in case it's not heating correctly, you want to check that all of these terminals are connected uh, firmly. If they're not connected firmly, it'll uh, burn out one of these terminals most likely so that's a couple of things to check so remember um, you can send for my five uh, videos on how to make money in appliance repair and just send uh, send the money to PO Box 7021 Eureka California 95501 and $49.95 and I'll send you the link to five videos and a small booklet to tell you about how to make money in appliance repair business. Thanks for watching.